The first part was better in style gameplay, and bosses was perfect. First of all, you capitalized the. Why did you capitalize the? Second of all, are you talking about the first game? This is a demo. This is not a completed game. This is a demo. And third, if a game was perfect, why don't you want them to make another one? You should want them to make another one. Or at least try. I don't know, you're not playing, you're just watching. You should probably play so you can feel it. Like the first game more? Yeah, but this is a demo. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, you played a completed game. This is partially made. And people get really spoiled by demos thinking that it is really close to the final product. And for some devs, it is. For some, it isn't. So, you know, I always, always, always hold, like, my comparisons and stuff until it's actually full released. It's one of the reasons I actually think some games shouldn't release demos. Sometimes I feel like it, it kind of has people saying things like that. And then when it does full release, they don't give it a chance. Because they're like, well, I played the demo and it wasn't perfect. So, you know, it's definitely like a, a choice well, you've well, got to make when you're marketing. I'd a big choice. Because it comes with that risk of people just deciding that this is the full game. Games that fall in this trap are mostly early access. Yeah. I mean, look, it's... It's a Steam demo up top, 0.2.9. It's like not really, um, it's not many versions along. I would say there's probably a long way to go with uh, polishing. A lot of the quote unquote game feel or things that really make it feel nice or things that you can really only adjust after a lot of testing. This bit sluggish, but I'm sure it'll be tuned up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's literally the only thing because it does feel a little slow. Things like, um, like when I go to dodge, sometimes I feel like it's happening slightly late or like the iframes feel a little late, you know? A lot of studios do demos or betas way too late in development yeah exactly they're like we'll do a beta to get people playing it so that maybe when it full releases they'll buy it then people play it and they feel like they've gotten their fill and, and they're good <laughs> you know and a lot of people will just end up not buying it or yeah like you said they can't polish stuff up anymore they're just fixing tiny things so they'll get feedback that's great from the player base and they'll be like yeah you should do this this and that and then they can't do any of it because it's totally out of scope out of budget because they never really intended chain much change much it was just a like a pr kind of thing a marketing thing a game that did it perfectly was tiny rogues we played it when it was in early access. There was so much missing from the game, but it was a really nice early build. Played it, thought it was great, and then it did a fuller release sometime later, and it's transformed into something really, really good. I think the demos really need to uh, just be demos. Like Blueprints, um, that we just played before this, doing a thing where, where it's limiting you to just a couple of days is really nice. Some games give you like just a first chapter. That's good, that's fine. You know, you haven't revealed your whole hand. Some games are like the whole damn game. <laughs> the whole fucking thing is basically released. Same and I feel like there's so few the times when that actually makes any sense to do. I don't know. But then again, for a lot of indie devs, they don't have any money. They don't have funding. Depends on how big or small of a studio it is. But when it's a smaller studio, sometimes they've just got to release it early and get people prepaying just to keep funding the changes that they want to make. So their option is release early early, tell people it's an early build, get them to pay normal price or at least a cheaper one, or uh, keep holding on and don't eat because you can't afford to, <laughs> you know? <laughs> like sometimes they really just don't have a choice, so. Sometimes they know it's a not a good move for them, but they, they just got through it. 